Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I can't even read it! <laughs> hey guys, it's Jen and we are chilling in my living room getting extra comfy cozy because today's video is basically me going through a bunch of makeup confessionals that you guys happen to send me on Instagram and I'm already a little scared. Let's go ahead and just get into it so you guys can be just as freaked out too. Are you ready? Hold on to your butts. Y'all, I care about you, so I'm keeping all of these anonymous. But if I say yours, you know it's you. I clean my brushes once a year. I try to clean my brushes at least like once a month. I probably should be doing it more often than that. Honest to goodness, you guys already know this. The bacteria just, it builds up, especially on the makeup brushes that are using cream or liquid products. I feel like with powders, you can get away with a little bit longer, especially if you're not sharing your eyeshadow with anybody else. But the liquids, you guys, especially like foundation brushes, you can't just keep using that. It gets all caked up. It's not gonna apply the same way. Please, please wash your makeup brushes. Wash those foundation brushes. Oh, I wear monthly colored contact lenses for years. Maybe someone out there remembers some of my very first YouTube videos. I did do a few colored contact lens reviews like way, way, way back in the day, but I don't wear contacts like on a regular basis. However, my husband, Ben, he definitely did. I don't know, Ben, did you let those go longer than a month sometimes? I would die. See, I feel like you could feel it, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I can maybe understand if you use those like peroxide bubbling cleaners and keep them really, really clean, but I think those monthly ones are meant to kind of disintegrate. Be monthly. Be monthly. Mm. It's not meant for that. You don't want that hurting your vision. Please, protect please, your eyeballs. please protect your eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is a good one. I once asked my sister to trim my armpit hairs with scissors instead of shaving. <laughs> First of all, why? Is it not, I mean, okay, you probably wouldn't, it just seems very dangerous. Even if I really trusted my sister and even if she like really disinfected those scissors, I would be so afraid of getting cut. Wouldn't you be afraid of getting cut, Oreo? Wouldn't you be afraid? He's afraid of everything. So yes, he would also be very afraid. Not that anybody asked, but my favorite way of keeping my armpit hairs in check is actually using an epilator. It takes like two seconds to do. It's way faster than shaving. I don't have any problems with like razor burn or anything anymore. I actually feel like weirdly enough, my armpit hairs, I have less of them than I used to because I keep yanking them out. I don't wash my makeup brushes often. Girl, you know half of us don't wash our makeup brushes but once a year. Wait, is this like a normal thing? You guys! You have less makeup? No, I'm, I'm pretty sure some of you are rocking three makeup brushes and you still only wash them once a year. Wash your makeup brushes! Sometimes I don't clean my brushes for months and just throw them out for new ones. You guys, we can't be just constantly living in this consumerist society where you wear a pair of underwear and they're dirty and so you just throw them away. We don't wanna fill up the landfills with all those makeup brushes. You wash your hair on your head, just take some of that shampoo, wash those makeup brushes out. Super, super easy. You don't have to spend a lot of time on it, but it might save you some bad skin and your makeup is gonna apply nicer. I own lipsticks that are at least eight years old, dot, dot, dot. They smell and look fine. Okay, confession here. I probably also do own lipsticks that are eight years old. I don't use them, <laughs> but I have a few that I'm just kind of sentimentally attached to and I can't bear to let them go. However, I do think because lipstick is mainly like a hard waxy product, it's actually not as easy for bacteria growing on the surfaces to kind of like penetrate inside and make the whole product really bad. Like I'm not saying I recommend for you to keep using those lipsticks forever, but if you do have one that is that old, you could probably spray it with some alcohol, make sure you rub off the top layer on some paper towel. If it doesn't smell or look weird and you disinfected it, I feel like lipstick is one of those things that you might be able to still get away with. But don't go getting sick 
because you did that and then point your finger at me because that's your own risk, girl. Eight years old lipstick. I'm oily and I don't use moisturizer. You know, this is one that's not gonna make me super cringe only because I feel like I was so used to seeing this and hearing this back when I did do makeup artistry on clients. There were so many girls, especially girls who are on the younger side who would say, oh, my skin is super oily. I just don't wear moisturizer because my skin never gets dry. I feel like I don't need it. Or they say, oh, my mom never Never used moisturizer and she has perfect skin and I'm like doing makeup on an 18 year old and I'm like girlfriend she doesn't wear sunscreen she doesn't wear moisturizer you don't want to get some premature wrinkles like you can already tell as we all age we start to think of all of those little habits we developed in our youth and how they affect us now so even if you're oily sometimes our skin will become more oily because it's overcompensating since there isn't anything keeping a regular balance of moisture Moisture in your skin. I'm not here to tell people like how they need to live in terms of their moisturizing, but there are plenty of really, really awesome oil-free moisturizers out there and that will help your skin possibly to be less oily and more imbalanced. Oh, oh no, oh no, <laughs> oh no, I can't even read it. <laughs> I need some composure. I never remove my mascara, and sometimes I pick it off my lashes with my fingers. I can understand some people getting a little bit lazy with like waterproof mascara that's kind of difficult to remove. I'm just making excuses here. If you're wearing a non-waterproof mascara, I've tried several different kinds and usually as long as you wash your face, it seems to come off pretty easily. So I'm I'm just I'm having to wonder, is it that you're wearing difficult to remove mascara or are you just never cleansing anything? I think the thing that always freaked me about is one of those articles some time ago where they were doing a study about mite growth on people who left their makeup on overnight. There are actually little tiny bugs that will eat at the makeup on your face that you don't wash off. Potentially, that can actually get you sick. Those mites are probably living everywhere on our bodies and our eyelashes regardless. But if you do that regular maintenance of washing your face and washing that makeup off, it is less likely to cause any other problems. This is something I haven't actually heard people do before. I will use mouthwash concentrate, which I don't even, concent? I don't even know what that is. I don't think I've heard of that before. To dry out pimples, a lot of people have used toothpaste. I think way back in my teenage years, I might have like heard that somewhere on the internet and tried it out before, but it, it's just, Honestly, it's not as effective as using something specifically for that. A pimple is basically inflammation of your skin. And if you use something really aggressive that's going to really dry out your skin a lot or just irritate it in any way, it's actually going to increase the inflammation, which if you have a skin tone maybe similar to mine, I have a lot of hyperpigmentation issues and the inflammation actually triggers the hyperpigmentation. So the more you're using really aggressive acne treatments, the more you might get other effects like hyperpigmentation, which you definitely want to avoid. Try going for something more like a pimple patch that's going to draw out the fluid while also protecting your skin to help your body heal itself because that's going to decrease the inflammation and it's much more likely for that acne to go away quickly without a long lasting result. And let's keep the mouthwash for your mouth. Everything is probably expired, nothing is clean. Hashtag toddler mom life. I totally relate to this okay like I have two kids under five it is not easy to have the time to even pee by yourself much less be disinfecting all of your makeup or reorganizing it I feel like some days my whole beauty area just looks like a tornado went through it but I do feel like now that my kids are getting a little bit older I do find five minutes here or there and I just try to you know clean when I can I mean that's for everything in life don't beat yourself up too much if it feels overwhelming because I think that that's just the collective mom feeling and that's okay. <laughs> I used to sleep whole day and whole night to avoid wrinkles. I'm jealous. <laughs> that's, a, that's a life hack. 
Okay, one thing I will say is I don't know if sleeping all the time is going to prevent wrinkles. Probably the best thing is to have like a healthy amount of sleep every night regularly, but it's more about protecting your skin from the sun because the sun is actually the number one thing that's going to give you wrinkles from sun damage. So sunscreen every day is probably gonna work better than sleeping all day and all night. But if you can, that's amazing. <laughs> I don't throw out mascara after three to six months. I use it till it's up or till it smells rancid. <laughs> For sure, if any of your mascara smells rancid, it should be tossed. I'm guilty of using mascara way past its date, and I'm also guilty of opening like four, five mascara tubes at a time. And then usually what happens for me is it gets kind of dry, like the formula will change and it doesn't work very well before it actually starts to smell. With any of your makeup, you guys, if it starts to smell, Toss it. I still have my very first eyeshadow palette from 2016 and used it recently too. This is just my own opinion. Don't take what I say as Bible, but I think if you have an eyeshadow palette, it's mainly a powder based product. It's not going to get as contaminated as your liquid and cream products over time. It's still gross, okay? If you just kind of spray it with alcohol, disinfect that baby at your own risk. As long as you clean your makeup brushes too, okay? <gasps> Oh, this one is so, wow. Really not what I expected, but this one is good. Loved Blake Lively, got a beauty mark face tattoo, had it for 10 years and no one knows. That is a juicy secret. Mm. I've had a few times where I had a pimple that was in a really obvious spot. And instead of trying to cover it up and have it look really awful, I've taken a black eyeliner and just put a little dot on it and wore it out like a beauty mark. Nobody knows, it's just the look. I'm all about that. Ooh, girl. I've been using the same concealer since 2012. <laughs> That's almost as old as our marriage. That's almost a decade. That is older than both of my children combined. <laughs> Girl, I don't want to know what is growing inside your concealer, but I promise you it doesn't smell good. <laughs> oh no, no, no. This is a two-parter because it's a whole story. I got a back alley mole removal and the lady did half my face, then my stepmom's perm, then the other half of my face. Worse pain than childbirth. Oh, I don't want to know about how bad those chemical burns are, you guys. If you're doing anything that is going on your face, especially in areas that are seen all the time and are going to potentially have a permanent result, it's okay to just like spend a little bit extra to not have your face chemically burned. You know, there are people who are very skilled and are very clean and won't do a mid mole removal perm in the back or even in a front alley, don't do that. Mm -mm. You only have one face and you're never going to regret doing it the right way. This one's definitely different. I wash my hair with only water. There is a balance of oils on your skin. The problem with never, never, never using any kind of shampoo is that oils can have bacterial buildup and bacterial buildup a lot of times will eventually create a smell and maybe you don't notice it but maybe it is something other people might notice that being said different people can go different lengths of time between washing their hair and you can also use things like you know dry shampoo or different products to kind of suck up the oils but at the end of the day it is good to still have at least a semi occasional shampooing routine for your hair I have lumineers on four teeth next to my two front teeth and my hubby doesn't know are lumineers like veneers? How long has he been your hubby? I mean, I'm not judging. I just, I guess if it doesn't come up in conversation, but I, are you intentionally hiding it or? I, I'm impressed. They must look really convincing. You must have really nice looking teeth. Okay, I know I said that was the last one, but bam. 
I think that this is a good one to end on. I got an eye infection from sleeping with makeup on. My doc flushed so much glitter out of my eyes. First of all, I guess that is a lesson for all of us to take home with us. Please wash your makeup off before you go to bed at night. You do not know the long-term things that it can do to your eyes or your skin or your face. You know, a lot of those things can cause infections, especially once they're on your face, mixing with those oils, mixing with all the things living on your skin. I don't know if this is something everybody knows, but there are different types of glitter. You never, never want to be using something like crack glitter on your skin, on your eyes, on your lips, anywhere that's sitting on your body for an extended period of time. It is not the same thing as cosmetic grade glitter and you can have problems where it actually damages your eyes. So now that I'm thoroughly freaked out and grossed out and want to double cleanse like five times a day now and immediately go and wash all of my makeup brushes, I hope this motivates you guys to also wash your face every day and wash your makeup brushes right now, now that you're watching this, now that you're thinking of it, go do it. Grab some shampoo, grab a face wash, swirl, rinse them out, wash those makeup brushes. I love you guys so much. No matter how gross we all are, I love you anyway. Let me know if there is a confessional that we did not talk about that you have to tell me. Put it down in the comments. Whoever has the most thumbs up, I will for sure include it in the next video. I love you guys so much. I hope you're having an amazing day. Subscribe if you wanna see more gross stuff or not gross things. That's it, I'm gonna go. Go wash your brushes. I'll see you in the next one, bye.